Injustice Gods Among Us is an important game. For DC Comics and Warner Brothers, it's the first big blockbuster of the summer. But for fighting game fans around the world, it's the most important beat-em-up title in ages. On the surface, it's got all the appeal of Superman versus Batman. Explosive, colorful carnage, super-powered smackdowns that grab you by the logo on your chest, fly you into the stratosphere, and knock you back to Earth with authority. But to inspire the same love and fandom as the greatest in the genre, it's going to need more. And we're happy to report that Injustice has it all. Before all the fists, batarangs and chucked cars, the first thing that will strike you is just how polished Injustice looks. Its dynamic arenas are truly epic. As battles grow long, the backgrounds break and crumble in reflection, as do the characters and the scenery around them. Fights spill across into other areas, with each stage comprised of cycled tears. These may look like the meaningless tumbles found in Dead or Alive, but because these transitions can be chained into seamless combos and they reveal new interactive hazards, it's a feature that will seriously impact the way you play. Of course, we should have expected this kind of detail. After all, the developers of Injustice are NetherRealm Studios, the team responsible for the latest, and some say greatest, Mortal Kombat game. This time, they've also got the history of DC Comics to inspire them. The single-player story of Injustice is NetherRealm's own take on the adventures of DC's most iconic characters, the Justice League, written in collaboration with DC writers Justin Gray and Jimmy Palmiotti. As it begins, the city of Metropolis smoulders in the wake of a nuclear bomb. The Joker is responsible, and Superman has lost everyone he loves. From here, we flash back and experience the events that lead us here, stepping into the shoes of every major hero and villain along the way. As long and as silly as the plot of Mortal Kombat, Injustice's overwrought melodrama and scattered tone won't appeal to everyone, but it's a good enough excuse to keep you in the action. All your favorite characters are along for the ride, from the essentials like Batman and Superman to more obscure names like Solomon Grundy and Deathstroke. The large roster is split into two classes, strong heavies who use brute strength such as Bane and lighter, faster characters who rely on gadgets like the Green Arrow. This doesn't just affect the way they play, but how they interact with their environment. Each character has chargeable trademark abilities and just like Mortal Kombat, screen-filling super moves. While the colourful cast of DC Comics will attract a very wide audience, it's clear that NetherRealm care the most about the hardcore fighting game community. Fans of Mortal Kombat will feel very much at home. The feel and bounce of fights is identical to the series' most recent instalment, and combos are all pulled off in exactly the same way. The pause menu brings up detailed stats on every move, not just inputs, but frame data, the sort of information serious fans have always needed to compile later on their own. Having it available right out of the box is a gift and a message to players that Injustice is intended as the next professional fighting experience. It's this depth that makes the game exciting and a more worthwhile prospect than just one fun weekend. But doesn't it simply boil down to Mortal Kombat in DC costumes? We ask the real fans, pro gamers Ketchup and Mustard, to share their opinions. Um, it definitely plays like its own game. I mean, at first I was kind of, you know, obviously it's been made by the makers of Mortal Kombat, so your first instinct would be, is it going to play like Mortal Kombat? The answer to that is just simply no, it plays like its own game. I think we're at a point where um, we, we all in the fighting game community would really benefit from uh, a new, unique kind of fighting game. Um, I can see it being played for many years to come. I mean, there are still people playing, you know, like uh, Mortal Kombat 3, there are still people playing it like now, competitively, like 15 plus years down the line. So it just goes to prove if people like a game enough, they will continue to play it as long as they find it enjoyable. Injustice Gods Among Us is an important game, but exactly how important is yet to be seen. We think it's got everything it needs to be a classic, but it won't achieve that unless the wider community of DC fans and fighter fans alike embrace it. And that 
Only time will tell.